Hello Leo, welcome to a bonus reading. This is going to be a reading all about how your person is thinking or feeling about you, about your connection, and what their next actions are going to be. So as always, is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. If you find that this does not resonate at all, or you just want to see more readings for your sign, then check out your playlist. It'll be linked in the description box. And so let's jump in. Spirit Tell us about the person that Leo is thinking about or connecting with. What are they feeling or thinking about Leo at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about Leo or this connection? What are their energies at this time? Oh, I got these two. Oh, we start with deep regret and bountiful harvest growth abundance patience okay so we'll see what that's about there's deep regret um and then there's also fear i have fear at the bottom of the deck here i wonder why you know as soon as i saw bountiful uh harvest it's almost like they have regrets over ruining a good thing or messing with something that was abundant have potential for growth or they could be feeling so regretful that they want to invest um, have patience you know take their time growing something they feel is very abundant so we'll see tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling about Leo what are they thinking or feeling about Leo it's all my fault and I screwed up well <laughs> that's pretty clear huh Leo <laughs> All right, so so they feel bad about something. And you know, I feel like Leo's always have this reading or this type of reading. So let's see. Spirits, angels, guides. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo. What are they thinking or feeling about Leo? Okay, we have the Three of Wands. What else? What else for Leo? What is going on with my deck? Is it mixed? Oh man, I didn't know this was a mixed deck. Okay, I'm not reading reversals right now, so I'm just gonna flip them all around if they do come reverse, because I'm lazy. Okay, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is someone being strategic. Okay, and then the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is someone being very strategic. I have Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Let me just try to, while I'm interpreting what I see, I'm gonna try to make this deck upright so basically what I'm seeing right away is someone waiting um, like patiently waiting for a message back or waiting for the results of something that they've been working on um, and I feel like this is your person's energy I feel like they've been waiting possibly for the right time to do something because then I have the seven of swords and the seven of swords can be interpreted as someone who's being strategic clever thinking outside of the box sometimes they can be sneaking around you know kind of doing things behind the scenes um and then the last card is the eight of cups so maybe they're leaving a situation a situation that has been difficult or perhaps they're just ready to move on here um but for some reason i feel like that has something to do with you and we'll see when i clarify but it looks like whatever they're headed wherever they're headed towards it's towards you it's what i'm picking up here so we'll see when i clarify um why that is uh well, i'm almost done so just bear with me leo okay uh i'm not reading reversals right now just i just felt called to just read upright for a little bit it's not gonna be forever but that's what i'm doing right now 
So let's do three of wands. Let's do three of wands here. Tell me about the three of wands. What's this about? The six of wands. Yeah, I feel like their goal is to be successful here. Get something done. Five of wands, nine of pentacles, ace of cups. Interesting. I feel like they're fighting for independence, freedom, for love, to be able to have love here. Maybe they're fighting for you. I feel like you could be this nine of pentacles. Someone very independent, doing well for yourself. Tell me about the seven of swords. It's like they picture winning this battle. Tell me about the seven of swords. The wheel of fortune. Wow. It's waiting for an opportunity. Another card about time. The hangman. Yeah, it's like they're waiting for the right time here. Five of Pentacles and the Temperance card again. Sagittarius energy. It's really funny because it's almost like they are hanging around waiting for the right time to, to, to make something happen here. Slowly, be, you know, taking their time, being patient to bring two very different things together to help something blend in harmony. That's what Temperance is about. So there's patience here um, with all these cards. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. And I feel like it's because they feel like that will help them be successful here if they take their time. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, they're headed towards something that they want. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Six of Swords. Yeah, they're leaving something behind. And I feel like they're headed towards you. Yeah, the world. Something completely new here. And then I have the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy. So they seem to have left something or someone behind. And this is how they think or feel about you. So I feel like they're trying to make something work. I have the Ace of Cups and the world. And they want success, you know, I have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Cups, getting their wish granted, having luck on their side with the Wheel of Fortune, trying to make something work here. Tell me about Temperance. Why is Temperance here? What is this about with Temperance? Yeah, the Fool. <laughs> Another card about a new beginning. And again, with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, there is an ending here that has taken place and they're ready for a new beginning, a new start. So your person is trying to have a new start. Now, I don't know if they're having a new start so that they can um, approach you or if they want a new start with you. We'll see. What are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be, Spirit? towards Taurus not Taurus what did I say Taurus are you dealing with a Taurus Leo let me know in the comments every time that I do a Leo or an Aries reading I always mention another sign it never fails <laughs> okay spirit what is this person's next actions towards Leo or this connection okay we have the ace of Pentacles wow okay what are their next actions towards Leo or this connection? We have the Page of Swords. I feel like they want to talk to you about this offer, this opportunity, commitment. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This person's coming in. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Cups. So, yeah. I feel like whatever path or journey this person is on, it's leading them right to you. They're motivated. They're taking action with the Knight of Wands. Not, you know, and I, I just picture them like coming into your life and being like, let's talk about us. Let's talk about this opportunity, a commitment perhaps. 
Tell me about the Page of Swords. What's this talking about? Or it could be that they've been observing you, you know, from a distance and now they're ready to pounce. <laughs> Tell me about the Page of Swords. Six of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Interesting. I feel like they want to tell you about their journey, about what they've left, about how difficult it's been. Can I get one more for the Page of Swords? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. I feel like this person has was maybe guided towards you. Now the hermit goes on its on their own journey as well. So, it, but it's a solitary journey, very similar to the Eight of Cups. So I feel like this person's going to tell you that they've been on some sort of journey, some sort of situation in their life that was very difficult. but they're here <laughs> i have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here so they've been working hard taking their time building something they've been focused tell me about the knight of wands what's this knight of wands about there's the knight of wands here Wow, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this says somebody that definitely is serious about making you an offer. Or wanting something here uh, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. It's like they want this opportunity. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, yeah, this is somebody that they want it all here. And we have the higher font Taurus energy I don't believe in coincidences the high priest in this deck is the higher font so they want commitment marriage kids like everything bottom of the deck I have the Sun I mean it's very clear what they want and they're motivated in getting it because I feel like it they've gone they've gotten this far they're gonna have this opportunity. Can I get one more uh, for this, or can I just get one, one clarifier for this Ace of Pentacles spirit? And I feel like this is someone that is very determined because of their past actions or this regret or guilt that they have. Four of Cups. Can I get one more? the tower wow you know this might take you by surprise with the tower the four of cups maybe you're not very interested or are just holding back the four of pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck so or this is how they feel you're going to take this offer yeah some of you might be closed or guarded against this offer just because of the past you know but this is your person's intentions here this is what they hope to do next and it's definitely communication it's definitely some sort of action towards commitment like this is not someone that just wants to play and have a good time and be in and out like the knight of wands typically can be uh, because I clarified it with the knight of pentacles and the higher font like this is, this is basically someone that likes to do things right. These two energies here. Um, and I feel like they want to talk about what, how they've gotten here, you know, first. Um, if they left in the past, they want to talk about that. Um, what I don't see here is cups, other than the four of cups and the ten of cups. But I mean, like, I don't see a very emotional 
declaration or anything like that where emotions are involved i feel like this is more of a measured thoughtful type of approach this is someone that wants to come to you with honesty and clarity um and you know i feel like their desire is going to be very uh in your face here leo so completely up to you how you react to this person um, let me know if you are ready for the past to come back if you even care <laughs> I have a feeling a lot of you don't, um, but I feel like this person's very determined. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this bonus reading resonated for you or you got something out of it or you just enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Um, also leave me a comment if you'd like. It tells me what you enjoy, what you like seeing, and also is a free way of supporting the channel. I appreciate anyone who takes the time out of their day to leave me a kind comment or like and share the videos. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.